Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, I just got back from a two and a half mile run and I just took a nice warm shower so that I can show you guys an update for day number 125. Uh, before I get started, um, you know, one of the most important things you guys want to do that I didn't really mention is to exercise and, you know, exercising will allow the blood to flow more in the scalp and it's going to provide more nutrients into the scalp and the blood vessels. So it can even help speed up the, the hair growth after your hair transplant. And also obviously it's going to be good for your health. So I started running every day. Um, I don't know if there's going to be much of a noticeable difference, but since it's good for my health, I'm just going to keep on running. Um, but yeah, let me show you guys. Oh, one last thing is make sure you guys wait about, about a month before you guys run or do any type of physical exercise because you know, it takes about two weeks for the for the, uh, the grafts to be fully secured into your scalp. And so you don't want to run into the risk of getting any infections or having any of the grafts pop out. So make sure you wait about a, about a month before you uh, resume any uh, physical exercise. But without further ado, let me show you guys how this hair is looking at day 125. Now, I'm a little over my uh, four month mark, so I'm about 33% from the final results of my hair transplant. Well, let me show you how everything looks. Okay, so this is the, the left temporal region. Now, this is this was the area where uh, the growth was a little bit slower compared to the other side. Um, but as you guys can see, the hairs are uh, they're still growing in, and it's definitely gotten a lot more thicker than it was even a month ago. So, if you guys remember, there's a little scar that I have right there, and I used to have like little bald spots. Um, it's actually filling in with a little bit of hairs. Um, I, I, I still need to wait a little bit to see more growth. But the frontal hairline, there's a lot of hairs growing. A lot more than, than before. And this side here, this is where a lot of the hairs are growing. So this side, uh, I'm not having any issues. It's just the left side here. But I just gotta be a little patient and then see if there's gonna be more growth. But like I said, uh, you know, around your three to four month mark, you guys are gonna start seeing your hairs to start growing in. And if you don't see anything growing, you know, don't panic. You might be, you know, it might take a little bit longer. But if you don't see anything past your, uh, your five month mark, you probably wanna speak with your doctor to see what's going on. Uh, but yeah, here's how it looks. Now, if you guys recall my uh, previous videos, I'm trying to grow up my hair. And what I want to do is I want to cover the uh, the forehead. So uh, so far so good, um, but it's actually the existing hair that's been covering my forehead. None of the the transplanted hairs are long enough to cover it yet. But I mean, right even even right now, it's, it's looking pretty good. And the thing is, if you guys go to South Korea like I did to get your uh, your hair transplant done. A lot of the guys there, um, the the hairstyles that they that they do is they usually put down their hair to cover their forehead, and so one of one of the common questions that a lot of guys in Korea that end up getting hair transplants that ask their doctors is if they're going to be able to cover their foreheads with their uh, existing hair. And I know that a lot of a lot of the people that I've seen on YouTube that end up getting hair transplants, um, the density is not really thick enough on the front of the hairline to end up covering their foreheads. And so what I wanted to show you guys is I wanted to grow it out and show you guys that this is possible. Um, obviously, if you have severe hair loss in the front, that's not really going to be um, possible. But in my case, um, I think I should be able to do it because I've lowered my, uh, my hairline and it should give me enough density to cover the, the forehead. Um, I've always had a big forehead and so that's the reason why I brought it down about one centimeter. And so hopefully over the next uh, couple months, I'm going to be able to grow it out and then cover my forehead without having any of those, uh, you know, the creases or the see-through appearance um, that people with receding hairlines have. Uh, but yeah, here's my update for day 125. If you guys have any questions, uh, let me know, leave some comments. Feel free to subscribe um, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.